G'day viewers. So you play Train Sim World 2 and you've probably noticed on people's streams and on some of their videos that their game looks just a little bit different to yours. Well, that probably means they're running some mods. Um, mods are just ways to change the game. They use the same method that Dovetail used to provide the downloadable content or DLCs for you and they're generally quite safe to use. Now, my favourite place for mods, you need to pick somewhere trustworthy obviously, is the Train Sim community, and they do things for all various games, but we're interested in Train Sim World 2 today. Now, you've probably felt or thought that mods are hard to get in and out of a game. The reality is they're not, because a person named Task Plays has made this really cool utility called the TSW2 Mod Manager. This is running over here, and you can see that I've got a bunch of patches installed, or a bunch of mods installed, I should say, and they basically live in the DLC directory for the game. So I'll just bring that over here. So we can see these are all of the DLCs that I've bought, but there's also a whole bunch of mods in here, like the horn audio mods, um, who doesn't like a good horn, dynamic clouds for various routes, who doesn't like that? I mean, that's really handy. Now, we also have the ones that are turned off, so what the mod manager does is it manages the files to get into this set of folders so you don't have to do it by hand and when you turn them off it pops them over into this folder so if we have a quick look for example this is the clinchfield patch patch version one two changes lots of things about the railway and lots of things in the way it appears and i find it quite enjoyable so let's just turn that one off so it's right here it's in in the game dlc folder let's just turn it off and it'll disappear and no great surprise, it turns up over here. If we turn it back on again, just scroll down to my disabled ones down here, disappears from the deactivated ones, and what do you know, it's back in here. Now, as long as the file's in here, the game will pick it up when it starts. Now, you have to do this with the game not running. That's really important because it only checks for new content when it starts. Um, if you changed content on the fly, mm, yeah, interesting things could happen. Now, one thing for sure, don't replace any of the DLC packs that you get. You do occasionally see people who have pulled these apart and make changes to it and they give you a new version of the pack file. I really discourage that. The ones that sit over the top, I think, are quite safe. The ones that where they've mucked about with uh, Dovetail's pack, I really wouldn't do that. I think it puts you in a horrible, unsupportable position because you can't get rid of it very easily. But anyway, let's just see how easy these are to do. So if we go back to Train Sim World 2 in here, now there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can get. There's reskins and scenarios and things like that, but we're not going to talk about that today because they're, they're a different method for getting those things in. Now... We're going to talk about patches. So if you want to be able to open the door in the front of the 1972 stock, maybe that irks you and you want to be able to do it. Cool. Maybe there's a few things that irritate you about the Boston Sprinter route. Well, this patch, maybe it fixes them. Fixed a lot of the ones that I didn't like. Um, and there's things like Cane Creek. That was the one that we were just looking at on the other folder. Um, sorry, we were looking at Clinchfield. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is to get these things in here now there's two ways so the first thing is i'm going to download this from the website and it'll just come down to the download link wherever it is there it is and that'll download that to my downloads folder and once that finishes we'll come back to the Transim World 2 Mod Manager. Now, this isn't a dovetail thing. Just remember, it's by a community member. So if you're having a support issue with the game, make sure you take all your mods out. Try and reproduce the issue again before you get in contact with Dovetail because they really can't help you with mods. Refresh. There he is. So I'm going to add that in. You notice it's moved it over to the mods directory. So if we come into back into that folder we were in before. There it is. The Cane Creek branch patch. And similarly, if we pop back over to the management screen over here, there it is there. And same deal before. If I turn it off in here, it'll disappear. And if I turn it back on again, it'll reappear and the game will pick it up. So it really is that simple, folks. It's dead easy to do. Oh, I mentioned another way. So this is cool. You can browse the mods database 
so you can see which ones are available and there's tons these don't just come from the train sim community there's a few sites that do this and if you want one of these you can either just use the download link here let's say you want a Espan orange dostos okay maybe you do you can just download that and it goes off to wherever it comes from this particular one does come from the train sim world community and drops it into a folder it's pretty much the same from then on so same sort of deal um, some of these other ones that go off to the other community sites they all work the same way but there's lots of them just look how many there are heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of them now some of them are kind of cool so there's some where you can go and play you can get rid of invisible walls and things like that on various routes you can change the way the sounds work um, not really stopping on any of these because you can go look at these things yourself now i'll put a link into the train sim community so i'll put a link into here into this video and um, please if you feel like doing some mods go and have a look there's lots of fun stuff now i'll do another video in the future on reskins and scenarios but the patches and sounds both come in through this mod manager and that just makes it so easy to do all right guys thanks very much for watching and if you like this you find it helpful give it a thumbs up. Um, if you don't like it, let me know why, and I can uh, do something better for next time. That would be really cool. Subscribe if you like, if you want to see more of the same sort of content, and thanks very much. See you later. I welcome any and all feedback. Feel free to comment on the video. Constructive criticism is welcome, especially if I've got something wrong. I stream every Sunday morning starting at 8.30am, and I also do ad hoc streams from time to time during the week. Please subscribe and click notify to avoid missing out. Subscribing helps me by helping me see what content is good and how it helps the channel grow or doesn't as the case may be. I welcome any and all feedback. Feel free to comment on the video. Constructive criticism is welcome, especially if I've got something wrong. I stream every Sunday morning starting at 8.30am and I also do ad hoc streams from time to time during the week. Please subscribe and click notify to avoid missing out. Subscribing helps me by helping me see what content is good and how it helps the channel grow or doesn't as the case may be.